And I have CB from Team Summit joining me this morning. CB, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. I haven't seen you for a while. It's mostly been the uh, different coaches and the yeah, different athletes that have been coming in. Yeah, we try and so. get the kids and the coaches in here. They're, they're more boots on the ground, know what's really going on out yeah. there. Now, for uh, people that are actually unfamiliar with uh, Team Summit, can you go ahead and say, first of all, what you do for Team Summit and what is Team Summit? Sure, what I do. I'm the executive director, so I guess I just kind of keep things from falling off the rails. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Team Summit's a youth development organization, mm -hmm. and we use competitive skiing and snowboarding kind of as our delivery tool for that. So we're training kids in skiing and snowboarding and all the competitive disciplines on all four mountains here in Summit County. And I do have to say that you guys have quite a different array of different, um, I guess, disciplines or categories. We do, yeah. And, and so um, we do, um, in skiing, we do alpine racing, moguls, big mountain, park and pipe, uh, ski or cross. Mm. Um, we do all those in snowboarding as well, but you can start in our intro level mm. and it's just one day a week for young kids mm -hmm. and they can try all of those different sports. Yeah. And, um, and then as you work your way up, then you can kind of go into a development level where you get a little more focused. And then as you get older and more interested in one area or another, you can move into like a higher level competitive yeah, well, and that, so that's great to help kids realize kind of what specific sport or what specific category they want to be in, but also if they're just interested in the competition. You and being just part asked of it. me the perfect question. Because, uh, <laughs> you, you know, our, our philosophy at, at Team Summit is to expose the kids to everything yeah. and find out what they fall in love with and, yeah. and, and then give them the tools they need to go as far as they want to progress um, in that. Now, tell me a little bit more about the intro days. You said it's one day a week? Yeah, so Intro to Team Summit's one day okay. a week. Okay. Um, it, it's on Saturdays. It starts in early December, goes through the middle of March. Okay. And, and those kids compete in the Summit Cup Series, and, and they, do, um, they do racing. They do moguls. They do big mountain. They do ski or cross. They do park and pipe. They do, do it all in, in uh, the intro level. Okay, so that's a really great way for people that are not involved in, in uh, Team Summit yet, but are kind of thinking about it. And you said it's the Summit Cup race series. Is yeah, right? Summit Cups are, are um, there are four Sunday races that we do mm -hmm. in partnership with the resorts here in the community. And they're free to any kid who's 15 or younger who wants to compete in it. Um, and I'm not sure, the next one I think is in two, is a week from this Sunday, actually, okay. and that'll be at Breckenridge. It's a skier, skier cross, border cross, so. Now you have another race series that's actually starting uh, next week that you, I, I remember it from last year. Can you yes. talk a little bit about that one? Yeah, so the bubblegum races start on um, this coming Monday, the 17th. Okay. Um, bubblegum races are at the Frisco, Frisco Adventure Park. They run from four to six. And any kid can come and bring a parent to sign your waiver for you, but it's, mm. uh, it's a free event. From 4 to 5 o'clock, we set the course, and the kids can practice on the course. And then at 5 o'clock, um, they get, when they register, they get three pieces of bubble gum. And at 5 o'clock, okay. then they do, they do <laughs> dual races against another person, and you enter each duel with a piece of bubble gum. You win your duel, you get another piece of bubble gum. <laughs> and, uh, so I imagine some kids by the end of the, the race could have like a really big bubble gum bubble. Some, some kids could have a huge <laughs> bubble gum bubble. Um, I would say all the kids because. I don't really let anybody run out of bubble gum <laughs> at the bubble gum races. So, and then we wrap up the night with uh, with free cookies and hot chocolate provided by the the town of Frisco and Frisco Adventure Park. So, oh, nice. yeah, it's a fun. It's a just a, a fun night. You get to race a little bit, but you know, no pressure, so, no consequences. So that sounds like a really like an even more introductory way to kind of see if your kid might be interested in competition. For, and then, for sure, yeah. And then the Summit Cup might be more specific of like, okay, well, what type of sport specifically? Yeah, that, that's a good point. Yeah, so um, yeah, these races are after school. I mean, we, we have parents who come with their kids and ski with them between their legs at the bubble yeah. gum races, you know? And so, yeah, it's just a really good place to discover. And we do, we race one week, then we do a ski across the next week, and then we race again, and then we do a Nordic race, and then we do another ski across. <laughs> and, and so it's not just racing, you know, we do, we do all kinds of different things. And um, like I said, it starts Monday the 17th, four to six o'clock, and um, it goes for six consecutive weeks. Okay, very 
Okay, cool. So now where can people go to find out more information about Team Summit, these race series? Yeah, so you, you can always find out about Team Summit at teamsummit.org. That's okay. pretty easy. Um, and then a really cool opportunity if, if people are interested in checking out Team Summit at the, at the intro Team Summit level, on March 7th, we're going to do a, bring, we're calling it Bring a Friend Day, but mm -hmm. um, anybody can, can sign up. Um, just go to events on our website, and, and you can sign up for your kid to come and ski with Team Summit for a day um, free of charge. So, All right. Well, yeah. CB, thank you so much for uh, letting us know what's up. Well, now, thanks for having me. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Now, folks, we are going to head back over to Breckenridge, Breckenridge with Andy. Let's go ahead and see what's going on over in Breck.